Hey guys, you with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to have a look at the TUSA RS1001 regulator, first and second stage. So let's open up the box and see what's going on inside. So we're gonna take all the bits and pieces out. This guy can definitely be recycled. You can get it completely out the shot. Instruction manual. Important you read your instruction manual beginning to end so you fully understand how your regulator works. I'll recycle that as well. Let's uh, pop open the bits and pieces to see. We have a lot of plastic over here. Let's just pull that plastic out the way. Come here. Mm, plastic. More plastic. Oh, and yet more plastic. Three bits of plastic. Going to recycle all of those bits and pieces. All right, cool. So uh, let's have a look at the regulator. So it's the R1000 regulator. It's the DIN fitting over here. This is part of TUSA's balanced diaphragm range, meaning that the pressure on each side of the chamber is balanced. So this regulator will deliver air to you no matter what the depth and what the air pressure at a really high flow rate. So it's a higher performing regulator. And this one also being environmentally sealed, meaning that it can be dived in colder waters as well. There is a one, two, three, four, five, the six ports on here. So you've got four low pressure ports for your uh, regulator, your Octo dry suit hose and your uh, BCD hose and then two high pressure ports one for your gauge and one for a transmitter if you so choose and then uh, you've got your din fitting over there with a nice swivel section to screw it into the din with a din cap connected there it's got Tusa's standard regulator hose here with a hose protector on each side of the hose and then down on the second stage the regulator does swivel backwards and forwards so that'll make it relatively comfortable to uh, dive with when you've got it in your mouth and it has a dive pre-dive setting or a venturi effect at the top left hand section over here so this would just stop the regulator free flowing if you're at the surface rolled off the back of the boat and the regulator hit the water so you would leave that on the surface section it's quite clearly indicated surface and when you dive down you just twist it into the dive mode and that will just remove the venturi which allows the regulator to breathe ever so slightly easily the front purge valve it's only the middle section which is purgeable as far as the purge is concerned it's got a nice big uh, chunky frame around the outside which will go a long way to protect the the regulator itself and look after the little purge button the smaller purge does reduce the chance of this regulator free flowing as well the whole uh, second stage is made of a molded polymer so it's going to be quite solid two so regulators are renowned for being really hard workhorses and never giving any problems T-piece, relatively big, so when you've got that in your mouth, it'll deflect the bubbles away from your uh, your chin really, really well, and it's got Tusa's ergonomic comfy bite mouthpiece. So uh, it's a balanced first stage, unbalanced second stage, but it'll give you air at a really, really high flow rate, so you could quite comfortably dive this regulator at 40 plus meters, nitrox compatible as well, and it would give you air at a really high flow rate no matter what the depth, and no matter what air is left in your cylinder, so it's quite high performing. Service and parts on the Tusa regulators in South Africa very very easy to get um, and it's also relatively cheap to service and maintain quite often these two type regulators are referred to as the Toyota Corolla or the Toyota Hilux of air systems because you just can't kill them they'll just keep working and working and working for a long long time so there's a very quick and easy review of the TUSA RS1001 air system, first stage and second stage, available from our site. This will work perfectly with any one of the TUSA BCDs and TUSA air systems if you were to build it together as a set, really, really reliable. So if you guys are enjoying the product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go click over there and click subscribe and we'll keep you up to date with all the reviews and our thoughts on all these funky little bits of scuba gear which we're reviewing on an ongoing basis. You can also go check out our social streams. Just give scuba.ca.za a search on the Instagrams, Twitters and Facebooks and we're bound to come up because we're putting cool pictures there all the time. So that's it from me guys and I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.